We start off with one man dead after a shooting near Valencia and Alvernon. That's where we find nine on your side's Andrew Christensen. And Andrew, what can you tell us about the shooting? So Heidi, I want you to take a look at this truck. You can tell that a bullet hit the side of this truck and the Tucson Police Department marked this as investigation with this yellow sticker, but this isn't the only place that a bullet hit the car. It also hit it right over here. Now, when I walked up to that house right over there, I also noticed that a bullet hit the side of the house. And as I was walking over here, I noticed that there was some blood on the street, meaning that someone was probably trying to get away from this scene. Now, right now, there aren't any police here right now, but as far as this scene earlier today, Today, police were blocking off this area with caution tape and wouldn't let any cars go through. Now, when I spoke with neighbors, they told me that this isn't the first time that this has happened. This has actually happened before, and they fear that there are a lot of um, parties and they're fearing for their safety. I heard the uh, gunshot. You know, like a brrr, you know, like that. And I said, oh my God. Seeing about 30 teenagers running for their lives is something Nancy Fortin and John Griffin will never forget. I just felt so bad for all those teenagers, all screaming and running down the road. And they say some of them even ran to their house. And there was two teenagers huddled up by our door. And I opened the door and I said, what the hell's going on? And they said, somebody's shooting at us. That's when they called 911, saying it took about 10 minutes for police to get there. Meanwhile, they noticed a red car with its door open. They say the people in the car had an automatic gun. They had just missed that car. It took off just before they got here. They say sometimes there are parties in the neighborhood. You know, that's the first gun that we've, you know, been around. And to me, it's scary. It's very scary. But other neighbors say that house has a party every weekend until about three in the morning and say they even hear gunshots every weekend. They say they mostly see teenagers ages 15 to 17 hanging out there. TPD says three teenage boys were taken to the hospital, one of them with critical injuries. The other two have serious injuries, but they are not life threatening. TPD says there aren't any suspects in custody yet. We just hope they get the guy and make them pay. Left with bullet holes in their truck and house, Fortin and Griffin say they're already hoping to move. Well, we were, we're going to anyway, but this is going to speed it along a little bit. And the Tucson Police Department say that they're still investigating this shooting. They say that no one is in any immediate danger. Of course, we'll keep you updated on air and online at kega9.com. Reporting live in Tucson, Andrew Christensen, Kega 9 on your side.